Hey everyone, so I'm going to go through my mascaras and my eyeliners. You should see the other videos of my eyeshadows and my eyeshadow palettes. Um, there's three parts to that. The eyeshadow, uh, the, my big drawer of eyeshadow is the second part, and then the third one is the palettes, which I still have to record. Um, but I'm here to show you guys this one. It's all my eyeshadow, not eyeshadows, but oh. eyeliners and um, mascaras. Um, and just things in this drawer. So, to start out, I have a couple primers. Primers. Blech. It's too early to say my R's, right? <laughs> I have my hard candy primer I talk about all the time. I have this skin primer. i correcting. Um, it's a light medium. Medium dark corrector. Oh, excuse me. In an eye and liquid form. And then I have... My old um, Urban Decay Primer Potion in, I believe this is Eden. There's the basic one. It might not be Eden, it might just be the regular one. And then I have another one, but they changed the bottle. It's not the, the short ones don't have this anymore, it's just the tube. And I, I hate how they changed the other ones to be just tubes. I like this little bottle. It was unique. Um, I'm going to include this with the primers because um, it's just kind of a primer for shadow for eyeliner. It's my um, it's by Urban Decay. It's the eyeshadow transforming potion. Okay, and this sun end is a wide angle brush. You put it in your eyeshadow to get a thicker line of um eyeliner or just make you just make your eyeshadow um uh darker to use it as a liner and that could be like just like the wing on the outside the really thick parts and then this it's just the inside to get really uh de small defined lines um and then um for eyeliners i have this one by um Mally, a waterproof eyeliner from Mally. I kept it in the box. Um, so, I believe this is Mal Oops, Mally Beauty. Um, and, yes. This is by Mally Girl. Anyways an eyeliner and again if you want to see swatches just let me know in, at the end of all my series in my last video what you want to see swatches of um, or you can leave it in each video but it's going to be hard to kind of find what you want swatches of in every single video that is comments are left so um, if you just want to do it in um, the last video then I can find it easier and then lastly this is my um, Urban Decay ink for eyes by Urban Decay it's a cream eyeliner, and this is the white one, and it's really not that great. For now, it just kind of sits there. Um, so as for gel liners, I have my Maybelline Eye Studio no New York in black. My L'Oreal Hip Cool Eyeliner, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's good for setting eyeliners instead of using an eyeshadow. Uh, same with this one. It's good by itself. Um, it gives a softer look, but it's good for also setting eye, um, eyeshadows. It's the L'Oreal Bare Natural uh, Gentle Mineral Eyeliner. In black, of course. And then I got Physicians Formulas Trio. You have a pretty blue, blue um, eyeshadow up here, a brown, and this is a black one with blue reflex in it. And I got this one because I have blue eyes, and this is for blue eyes. Um, so I got the one for blue eyes. Oops. And then as far as eyeliners, as far as NYX jumbo pencils go, I have two of the milks because I wanted to stock up before I left. Um, this one is in iced mocha. This one's black bean. This one is in baby blue. This is electric blue. And this one's in french fries. 
And then I got the NYX uh, glitter eye, uh, yeah, eyeliners. And these, I got the one with the tassels, the bigger ones. These are a thicker glitter in them. So I also got, um, and, and these are just for like fun. I got the gold for Steelers because I'm a Steeler fan, fan, so black and gold. So I got the gold for that. Same with these, I got a black and gold one of the more fine glitter, as uh, well as a turquoise. These from NYX. As far as all other eyeshadows, I mean eyeliners, I can talk. I got the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen in teal. I got the 24-7 eyeliner by BH Cosmetics um, in black, I believe. The black one. I got an e.l.f. Uh, waterproof eyeliner pen in black. I'm trying to keep this organized as I go, which is proving to be an epic fail. Whatever. This is one from Hard Candy. It's a pretty uh, neutral color, or a brown for a neutral look. I got these for just some formula um, uh, pen liners. This is a um, a brown one. Right, I'm sorry, it's black. Duh. It's a black one, and it came with this, and this is you put on your lashes, and it's supposed to help your lashes grow. Um, put that one back. Then I have two Rimmel ones. Uh, the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner. I have Navy, which is good for blue eyes. And then a pink one. It's really pretty for the bottom uh, lash line. And then I have an Elf Liquid Eyeliner. And a Maybelline Waterproof Liquid, liquid Eyeliner. And now as far as mascaras, I have the CoverGirl Lash Exact, which is my opinion just okay. The Final Lash Volume Mascara, this one was pretty good. These are just like in the okay category. Um, I love this one, my Rimmel, um Lash Max. They don't really make this anymore. I found this one uh, a few months ago, luckily, but they really don't make this anymore, so I'm keeping it as long as I can. Uh, Voluminous Million Lashes, I love this, but the Waterproof Counterpart, I also got it, doesn't work that well. Not for waterproof. It, it, this is a lot better than the waterproof. Um, I have a Bare, Min uh, Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Volume uh, Travel Size. I have two Sephora um, eye mascaras. This one's Atomic Volume. And this one is Advanced Lash Boosting Booster. I have this little Clinique sample one. Um, this is the one with a really, really cool brush that I like. It's, it helps get in the inner corners really well. Um, I have my telescopic uh, waterproof one, which it's pretty good. It's good for the corners as well. Um, these two I love. I love my Bad Gal Lash by Benefit. It's a really good mascara. And then my, my favorite ones are in my other drawer. I'll show you later of my everyday makeup. And then organic wear. I don't get the one that's like the long curvy stem. Um, this is the original one. I get the original one, and the original one's really good. They don't have it in waterproof, though, because if you're going to make a mascara or something waterproof, you're pretty much going to use a chemical, and then that takes the organicness away from the product. Um, and that's it for my um, eyeliner and mascara drawer. Um, next, I'm going to do my foundation and my blush drawer, and then I should have the palette one up so that I can keep the uh, eyeshadow series all together. So. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave any comments about the video you want. Try to save swatches till the end. Um, but if you don't think you're gonna get to watch my all my videos at once, you can leave swatch comments in um, each video. I will check. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure I don't miss anybody's. And I'll do a whole video of um, swatches from my series that you all wanted to see. So ask about as many swatches as you guys want. And just stay tuned for my next drawer, I guess, or next section of my series. See you guys later. Bye.